There's been a little while since we did our last video. There's many reasons for that. We'll go into maybe a bit later. But I thought I would show you a little bit of our view at where we are now living, staying, whatever you want to do. Oh, you can even see one cow trying to mount the other one. <laughs> oh, you might have missed that because I don't think you can see it. Ah, oh, damn. Anyway, so this window here from our back door, we can see out onto fields and fields and fields. And usually the cows come up to this gate and like, come and say hi. I'll show you a video. Well, these, these guys are still here and they're desperate for food. Like, honestly. I don't know whether they're desperate for food or just more of my love. But even Tank's come over and given them some loving too. So where's my food? Why are you feeding the girls and not me? Richard didn't give us enough. Um, so yeah, and Tank's here. Dwayne is uh, baking. Tank's obviously helping, aren't you, Tank? Sticky toppy Tank time. <laughs> So we're having a Sunday chill. Um, we were off exploring for the last few days and um, took some time for us. And now we are back at the campsite. We've just done a little clean and Dwayne is using our Omnia oven for the first time. So we're gonna do a little time-lapse of him um, cooking his gluten-free, dairy-free, sticky toffee pudding. Um, and then later on, we're going to cook pizzas. So we're going to show you what we're going to do for that. So don't you worry, we'll show you how we use our Omni oven. It's actually not the first time. He's actually cooked a few other things, but like little things here and there just to test out how to use it and stuff. But we've been waiting to get one for a little while and we're really glad we got one. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you around the campsite in a bit. But basically, we are on a farm. Dwayne works on the farm and loves it with all the cows and all the sheep and he does lots of what do you do babe right <laughs> i don't know there's lots of farm stuff isn't it it's just farm stuff yeah like feeding the animals um cutting their hooves weighing them that kind of thing um i'm doing lots of stuff like planting all the vegetables and stuff like that tank is just chilling usually in the sunshine most of the time the little cheek, look, look at where he is. Um, <laughs> you don't even like dates, do you? I think you like dates. He's like, I want to try one. Let me down, please. <laughs> I don't think you want dates, buddy. I don't think he wants dates either. So yeah, when we're like in the campsite, we don't really usually put all of our bed away. So we kind of have it as like a chill out area with our memory frame mattress wrapped, rolled up here, like a little armchair seat, which is really cool. Usually we put it in that overhead cabinet, but it kind of makes it a little bit of like a comfy, cozy area because we can sit and eat down at the other end, which was like the plan for when we were here. Dwayne's guitar is now on the wall with a... Uh, one of my lovely Ludo pictures. We've got this little picture here from a guy who like paints um, up in Cornwall. We're in Cornwall, up in, um, where was that? Travon Travoni? Pass. Anyway, near Pasto basically. Um, we met him and it's I- Cornwall, isn't it? It's it is still Cornwall, Cornwall, yeah. All of it. And I swam in that pool. So that was my first uh, Cornwall swim. So I decided that we'd get a little picture of that. And we've obviously got our Let's Kutch sign is up. So it's feeling really homey in here. We love being on the farm because it's super quiet. Literally no sound. We've had like one or two rainy days, but we just wanted to settle in before we did any videos. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you what Dwayne's going to be doing. Um, baking in the Omnia. But I'll also show you around, don't you worry. So it's a very, very small campsite. This is not very much to so say. This is the toilet block, showers and stuff, um, toilets around there and then around the back of it is like the laundry room, information, all the bins and all like the washing up bit. Um, it is a bit windy, just always is up here. And then this is the campsite, literally super tiny and surrounded by fields. So let's show you what it looks like. So. We have a little spot over here, but there's like 
all of these the spots and then in the summer through that gate there there's loads more well, there's a fair few more but in that field there is the cows and the sheep that Dory looks after there's also more and the farm's over there in the corner so it's literally a perfect little home we've got our little set up over here sometimes put some washing lines up we've got this stuff to dry but um it's kind of perfect for us um it's just started to rain for some reason even though it's been super hot and sunny all weekend the day that i decide to film so it doesn't show it in its full glory so see if we can see the cows because they come over and pop over this gate sometimes but oh here they are hello what are you guys doing you know it's raining is that what you're lying down martin says that's not true hi <laughs> so yeah i always watch like Dwayne come out of these gates up here on the quad in the mornings and like go off and then come back and like feed all these cows which is pretty nice they're usually coming and seeing me because i'm doing my workout because these guys get fed last and they're always like desperate for being fed look one's coming over now they're super friendly they love like licking your hands and stuff but so yeah that's the view that we get from skylar every day what more could you wish for well sun all the time but crops need some water so that's fine if it rains Let's see how Dwayne's doing doing with the baking how you doing with the baking yes right cool well i just showed everyone the campsite wonderful it's not very difficult to show is it it's quite small nothing wrong with that no so yeah i'll get on with uh going doing some baking kind of over, overflowed but these went perfectly um sticky toffee puddings they're miniature we've decided you're gonna make them sticky toffee or you want a big one or small whichever you prefer a big one he's made the sauce and everything oh, want some oh yeah Concentration on Dwayne's face, if you could see it. Made enough mess in this van already. <laughs> Had a little bit of a <laughs> issue, didn't we, earlier? But it's all good now. Can't wait to have this. Ooh. So, yeah, first Omnia um, baking experience went half and half. Half went good, half went a bit crazy. That's probably because Dwayne dropped his phone in the mixture, but I'm excited to try it. Dairy free, gluten free, sticky toffee pudding. Yum. So, we're mid pizza making. Dwayne's uh, doing the next pizza base. So this is one pizza base and that's the other. So ours are different because we are using this gluten-free pizza base mix. So it comes out like a paste like this. So what we're doing is you have to cook it once, then put the toppings on and cook it again. So Dwayne's cooked this one. This is what it looks like. 
so that's calling for us to put like the topping the pizza sauce and stuff on top and then while that's cooling this one's gonna cook so yeah that's the plan isn't it babe hopefully so yeah this is looking brilliant i think yeah and then um we're gonna make our pizzas Dwayne's even made our pa pizza topping sauce and oh you're so good at this babe well, i don't know about that i will try and yeah so like other people we were thinking about doing this as like a calzone so you're putting your um stuff on the inside but as you can see that's impossible for us to do because it's a paste so it has to be like done like this way but everybody else you could just do a pizza then put your stuff inside and put it over couldn't they yeah normally with normal pizza dough you just sort of make your bowl make it into a sausage put it like then around there squidge it in then bake it but obviously with this as a paste you can't yeah. put sauce on top of paste because it's like it doesn't really work Look. so you need that kind of like stable base to put the sauce on and hopefully we have pizzas we have pizzas but we'll let you know we'll let you know see you in a bit <laughs> everyone so i realized this morning that one I didn't properly film the pizza but i have some pictures and i have a little bit of film of the pizza during it cooking and at the end it was fantastic i just think like by the time we'd cooked it and everything we were just like really wanting to eat so um i kind of forgot and just ate and then watched some TV and just chilled out because um, we knew we were like going to go back to hard graft today. So um, thought I'd come on this morning and say, oops. Um, so yeah, pizza was delicious. A few little tweaks for next time probably. Um, but yeah, like the Omni was fantastic. We had like our sticky toffee pudding for dessert as well. So it was like, a banquet of food so i thought i would show you what i did while Dwayne did all the cooking yesterday i did my first ever is it cross stitch i don't know what it is anyway it says do what makes you happy so that's going to go off on the wall at some point when i find a place to put it it looks okay i wasn't too happy with it but it kind of gave me something to do which wasn't on my phone or watching tv so i like that kind of thing so yeah, Dwayne's already at work this morning and I just thought you could come with me to, to put the bed away. <laughs> it's still raining. It's crazy because I wanted to tell you all about our weekend in Cornwall. Not weekend, it wasn't the weekend, like we did a few days, um, like exploring and show you the lovely weather, but it's still raining outside. So, um we had like a few days off work so we went off and explored and i like I, we didn't video because we don't get to spend that much time together at the moment so that we want to like when we're together we just want to enjoy that time so i took some pictures and <laughs> tank loved it he went in the sea the sea was so clear so we went down to like lizard point and then all the way across the bottom to just before um, Penzance. So we went to Par Sands and parked up for two nights right on the beach. It was lovely. It was like the best park up we've ever had. And the beach was just amazing. Went for like a few swims there and just had like a complete chill out. It was so lush. And, um, and then on like the Saturday, we decided to go across to my, um, St. Michael's Mount. We walked along the causeway and then Tank, it was like the tide was coming in when we were doing that and Tank was like, no, but he never got it. Wasn't, he wasn't out of his depth, so he could still walk along it, walked back and then we took the kayak round. So thought I'd show you some of our footage. So we took the kayak, not our kayak, we rented one because obviously we don't have one at the moment and Tank came with us and we went round um, St. Michael's Mount. I filmed some of like the water was just so clear that's the one thing that i've been like amazed at here because 
where we've come from the water just isn't clear like this we could have been in Greece or somewhere it's just crazy um so I filmed some of like the marine stuff and like then we kayaked up the causeway which was really cool because we just walked there um and it was such a lush day it was really sunny and um perfect way to like end our kind of few days off and exploring so yeah we are really enjoying being in Cornwall we're really grateful for the opportunity to be here and you know yes the park ups there's few and far between but um that's obviously for a reason and some people haven't like looked after the place so um when we found a park up like Par Sands we really like kind of enjoyed ourselves and took our time there because we were allowed to park there for the two nights we paid you know we used the facilities all that kind of stuff and you know made sure that we're doing everything properly as we always do um so yeah that's kind of it but our experience of Cornwall is amazing at the moment um we're loving being on the farm we're loving the fact that we've come down here <laughs> tank was yawning um and yeah we we love our omni oven that's like the other thing that we wanted to say like we wanted to test it out put it to the test doing stuff in the omni oven and omni oven anyway is like new and you have to like work out how you do it but doing that as well as having all of my allergies then that makes it even harder but sticky toe pudding came out amazing even though Dwayne wasn't that happy with it but he's a perfectionist and pizza came out amazing again Dwayne wasn't happy he's a perfectionist but I think it was really yummy um so yeah we'll be starting to use that a little bit more hopefully what we're hoping to do is that we can make some bread in it for like me so we don't have to keep going to places like Sainsbury's and Asda etc because we've enjoyed like going and using the refill centers and they have the flour that I need in the refill section which is perfect so we don't use any waste at all we just kind of fill it up um and yeah it means that we can make our own like when I need it not just like oh I should buy some because I might need it at some point I'm not coming back to a Sainsbury's which is kind of what we did when we were leaving that area of Cornwall we went to the Sainsbury's for like one last time just to get like a few of the things that I needed um so yeah maybe we can bake some cookies too and everything so i'm excited to keep using it and um see what Dwayne makes in it which is really cool so if you haven't already got an omnia definitely try and get one um Dwayne kind of was following a recipe for um sticky toffee but um i'll put the recipe down below because i don't know what it was because i wasn't paying any attention and yeah try it out yourselves like if you have any questions about what we use gluten-free wheat-free etc um dairy free leave a comment and we'll tell you what we use so um yeah right i'm gonna put this bed away and start some work so we'll see you next time whenever we next upload which is probably in about a month but oh that's what i wanted to say if anyone's going to be at the international camper van show we are going to be there we're going to be showing skylar so hopefully we'll see some of you there um, we're really excited to show her off to like everyone and show all of our hard work and dedication to like getting her ready for full-time van life answer any questions also my mum and dad are going to be there in their massive truck which is really cool so um a few of my friends can see colonel and anyone who watches the youtube videos that like is going to come and see us you can meet the colonel as well he's going to be there and obviously my dad the legend um so yeah let us know in the comments below if you're going to be at the international camper van show the next bank holiday weekend because we are going to be there so right on that note i should actually go and do some work so see you next time make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up because you know we're still doing videos <laughs>